Would you speak to your amendment, please? Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Um, right now, as I say, we, we've got an impasse right here. We don't have anything uh, to deal with. We, we, we're getting wrapped around the axle amongst old agreements that may or may not be valid. There are still uh, legal uh, determinations to be made on those. And in the meantime, nothing is getting done. I think for the, that for the moment, we need to set aside what those, the outcomes of those may be, and instead attempt to sit down with the Department of Transportation and negotiate with them a memo of understanding so that there is a clear understanding that they are responsible for this or the, and that we may be responsible for that. We certainly don't want our sidewalks to go and roads down there to go uncared for. I've had a discussion with some DOT officials up in Concord and uh, they said, well, it's our policy. We don't have, uh, we don't do any sidewalks anywhere. And I said, yeah, but all the DOT roads are, there are no sidewalks on Route 101 or Route 125. There just aren't any. So I can understand that that is your general policy for 95 to 98 percent of your roads. And uh, they said, well, yeah, that's true. I said, but down at Hampton Beach, you made the agreement that you would take on the maintenance of these roads as a part of the deal when you acquired those roads so that you could build all the rest of your facilities. That was part of the deal. Now, shouldn't there be an exception? And the individual kind of went, well, yeah, maybe. And so they are not totally close to it. That's their policy right now. Uh, there's certainly room for legislation to be introduced that would change this, that would obligate them to, to stay with the um, uh, agreement that was made, but it would have to be done after some appropriate uh, investigation to make sure of exactly what is still valid on the books up there. That is something that has to be researched by, uh, to an extensive degree. I mean, the opinions and memories of the people in this room are one thing. What is written in paper in the actual agreements for us to be able to work from is a totally different thing. So I would suggest to you that what we need to do is at least at this point give the Board of Selectmen the opportunity, the authorization to sit down and talk. Let's keep discussions open. Let's not be closed-minded and say, oh, we can't do any of that stuff. We may find that we're biting off our nose to spite our face if we do that. So I would strongly suggest and urge people to to uh, uh, authorize the selectmen to do this and pass this amendment. Thank you, Mr. Rice.